Hi, I know this is where I'm meant to do the whole intro thingy, but this entire episode was a mess when I was filming it, so I thought that the intro should be as well. It's Better Minecraft episode 8, I believe. I don't know, it could be 7, or it could be 9. I've lost track. Starting off though, I wanted to build a chicken coop. I don't know why, or why this is necessary, since I have no need for eggs. And for the life of me, I could not find chickens. But that's okay, it looked kind of, it, it, I, I didn't like it, I might rebuild it, to be honest. It was quite ugly. Does anyone else struggle with this or is it just me? Because I can never figure out how to place the hoppers. It just... I don't know why, I always mess it up. Although I'm not doing redstone a lot, so maybe that's why. Maybe if I did that now. Redstone just never clicked for me. I've been more of a building person. But when I was looking for chickens to fill my very ugly chicken coop, which I couldn't find any, but that's fine. Unrelated to the story. It was snowing, so I thought I'd sleep in this house, which I've seen several times. I've visited several times, keep in mind as well. And never noticed that this guy trades stuff. Which I just thought this was a cool flint and steel. So I bought it. And you know, thought, okay, whatever, didn't think much of it and slept there the night after, you know, he wouldn't get out of the bed oh so rudely, so I had to break it. I don't know what his problem is. I, it's not like I broke into his house and expected to sleep in his house. But for some reason, I looked around. Now, I know this sounds like I'm just trying to tell a story, which I am, but I genuinely didn't know that this was here. I put two and two together and thought, okay, maybe that's a portal. Who knew I was smart enough to do that? I wasn't expecting it to light though, so <laughs> I was a little bit shocked when I found a completely new dimension. Apparently there's two other ones. This one's called the Everbright and the other one's called the Everdawn. So the episode took a turn. I didn't really have any plan for it, but now, now it turned into a boss fight, which really wasn't that difficult, but whatever. Usually I always prep too much for them, which helps a lot. And what are these guys? But I was really nervous since my weapons don't work as well in here for some reason. Whoever thought of that was a genius, like, wow. I took a little look around this tower though, but so thought I should leave since I had no weapons and just entered a strange dimension completely unprepared and without arrows. Mind you, I didn't have arrows. So I thought I should go home. It might be a smart idea. So the plan was to, you know, get arrows, obviously. And some other stuff so I don't die since this is completely new to me and I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never gone to this place, ever. I didn't know it existed until like a few days ago. So... I wanted to be very prepared. At some point I would like to extend the village a far more, not extend, I don't want to make it bigger, I just want to upgrade it with more villages, since I don't really have much. Well, I've got a mending villager and two villages that sell me carrots, that's it. But I was going to use my elytra this episode, I, knew, I know I said I was probably never going to use it. Next episode ends up using it because I can't fit a dragon through that portal. It was... I think that Elytra actually saved my life several times though. So I'm very, very glad I took it.
to enter the dungeon, you would need to find four dungeon keys. Which was really easy. I thought it was going to be a lot harder, but it turned out really easy. Since all four of them were just in chests. Or brewing stands. It's such a strange place to have them, but whatever. Who am I to judge? And after finding all four dungeon keys, I chickened out because I needed to go craft more golden apples since I had dropped, like, three on the way. Don't ask me how I dropped them, I have no idea. But I dropped them and I didn't notice, and I needed to go craft more, and I'm slightly embarrassed. But it's fine. I don't know about you, but I always procrastinate for a boss fight. I just look at it or micromanage my entire inventory in a certain way. I just, I have to. I don't know why I do it. I'm sure there's a reason. But when I entered, I was kind of disappointed since the room I was in had a hole in it. I don't know if it was glitched or whatever. But anyways, I used it several times. I kept getting overwhelmed by these reject, these reject golems. I don't know what they're called. I don't really. Oh, artificial golems. It says it right there. Like you can't hit them because you can't hit the summoner because these guys keep like swarming you. But I did figure out the strategy very soon. It only took me like 10 minutes and I was running very low on apples. They just like overwhelm you and you can't get to the summoner. I did figure it out and I was very 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 impressed by how how well I used my brain in this situation. They can't get you if you're up on the wall. There was a design flaw that I hope they never fix because that works so well. And I just kept bowing him and bowing him. It took a lot of time, but you know, finally he went down. He was a pain in the ass and these little balls were a nightmare, but finally. And the good thing is, once I killed him, all the little artificial golems died as well. But I got some really cool stuff. Okay, I got one really cool thing. I got a spear. I've been wanting a trident for a while, and I just can't find one. I mean, and I figure this is close enough. I mean, like, it comes back. So, I mean, it works fine. I feel like it would work better in the ever ever bright instead of the overworld but you know whatever it looks cool and it has built-in loyalty too which i think is awesome i think i think all tridents should have that feature no one wants to go and have to find their trident When I got home though, I really wanted to build a barn, since my house is just full of animals. Like llamas, which is not sanitary to have a llama in your house. I don't- yeah. And horses, well not- they're not really horses. And these mushrooms, and raccoons, who has a raccoon in their house. Oh, and there's a fox as well! This was where I was going to build the barn though. I wanted to destroy a layer of dirt so it would make more room for the barn. You'll see in a minute once I destroy it all, it'll make sense.
see what I mean though? It's just made a lot more room for me to place the framework. And it would just be bigger as well. Like I need a really big one, not like a little one. There wasn't wood in the Everbright though that I really wanted and thought, okay, maybe I'll just build it out of something else. It's not this wood, but it's slightly lighter. It's more like a pastel shade. And I was just determined to get it. But the problem is your axe is so much slower here. So it took me so long to get it. But that's fine. See, it's like a pastel shade. This was why I wanted it. It pops so nicely against the spruce and the snow. Which doesn't matter since it was gonna be spring in like two more days, but whatever, who cares. It still looked nice in the spring. And I used the darker blue on the roof. I don't think everyone's gonna like this barn, but I like it, and that's all that matters. I like how the pink as well kind of gives it a nice pop of colour. I don't know. I've had conflicting comments about the pink wood. I love it, and I don't care what anyone thinks about it, but that's fine. So obviously I moved all of my animals out of my house, so now I have my house back. Yay! It only took me like nine episodes, sorry, eight, eight episodes, I'll have to fact check that. What did I name the fox again? I think it was Clarence. Yeah, it was Clarence. And this is what the barn was looking like, fully decorated. I'm sure I'll add more stuff. But I really wanted to build mushrooms this episode. I don't know why. And I did, I... They just, it's not that they were bad, it's just that they turned out not as good as I wanted them to. But that's okay. Some days you can build mushrooms and some days you can't. It's kind of the thing about building mushrooms for me. But I really wanted to collect the red ones and the blue ones. And I found something really cool, which you will see in a minute. I don't know if you can tell what it is by the side view, but it's a mushroom temple. I didn't know these existed. Like, I don't know why I think thought they wouldn't, but this is just so much cooler than all of the other ones I've found. Like, they seem to have one for every biome. But like, it had these adorable little chests in it. They're like little mushroom chests. I don't know why I keep collecting dragon eggs, but you know. I mean, who cares? I only need one more dragon and it's the ghost dragon and I cannot figure out for the life of me how to spawn it. Apparently you're meant to do it underground, below level something or in complete darkness, but I just can't figure it out. I've tried and I cannot get it to change. So I guess I just have to find it. Anyways, back to my mushroom building. I, I really didn't like this one, but like, I was too lazy to change it. I'll probably get rid of it at some point. It just looked stupid. I admit that. It looked ugly. I think the colours are just really conflicting. But I built a blue one. I built several blue ones, but this one didn't turn out too bad. 
out of all of them, this was probably ranking second. It looked kind of weird, but it wasn't the worst one. I think it was the same with this one. Actually, I think this one was my favorite one, I forget. That one was okay. It's not the best mushroom I've ever built, but like, it was okay. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. If you want to, no pressure. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day.